Dr. Daryl Gebyan, who I, I met through reaching out into the community um, and finding out that he had some very interesting and extensive experience in the field of opioids. And uh, he can speak to that. But uh, I would also just like to say that in a situation and an issue where it's very easy to stigmatize, that has to stop because as Daryl will elude and expose, if it can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, thank you. I'm Dr. Daryl Gebian. Uh, I'm an emergency department physician. I'm not <clears throat> practicing currently due to a um, near fatal uh, fentanyl addiction. So I'm in recovery over four years from an opioid addiction. And I'm proud to be here. And thank you very much for having me. Uh, this is incredibly important uh, to equip our police officers across Ontario with this life-saving kit. A Narcan kit can reverse an overdose very pr quickly, promptly, and can revive people. Um, this is, hits close to home for me as well uh, because I also lost my mother to an unintentional fentanyl overdose. And we have to remember that it's the, the elderly population who are on opioid medications, as Alan alluded to, uh, that they can unintentionally overdose, and that's exactly what happened to my mother. Now, this was back in 2015, and unfortunately, the paramedics at that point uh, didn't question, didn't ask my dad, um, you know, more details about what, what happened. But had they asked if she was on opioids, then they would have probably given Narcan and could have saved her life. So things have changed tremendously over the four years. I don't blame them, uh, but things have changed since then. So it's very, very important to the family as well, responsibility on the family, um, to bring in an Narcan kit, have it there if they know that their loved one is on opioids, whether it's prescribed or illicit. Uh, just a little bit about the, um, the importance of naloxone. So if somebody is overdosed, uh, possibly that they're blue uh, or they stop breathing, it's really important. Uh, artificial, like giving respirations is part of the treatment as well. And it's, and it's very important that we have to give that out there as well. Uh, the Narcan kit, uh, while a person is, is preparing the kit to give it, um, we can give artificial respirations and compressions. So mouth to mouth is what I'm talking about. It's very important to be <coughs> consider that as well from, a, from an emergency <coughs> department physician's perspective. Um, yes, par uh, partial exposures from police officers uh, to environmental uh, you know, fentanyl that's per perhaps in the air, uh, if it causes any symptoms. Uh, but Narcan, uh, sorry, but uh, what the opioids do is they can shut down respiration. So it's important to treat respiration, respiratory arrest, and that's where the Narcan comes in handy. On my final point, uh, I just want to say that this is an excellent step, an excellent step in the right direction. This is a very big, complicated um, process of what we're dealing with, the opioid crisis. It runs very deep, and I want to say that the opioid crisis is just one symptom of a bigger problem, and that is uh, systemic anxiety, really. I think it's, we, that's a lot harder to tackle, and this is a much simpler thing, decision to be making at this point. But the treatment starts with getting communication and people to start speaking and uh, sharing uh, their stories. And that's one important thing for me to do as an emergency physician to help destigmatize by say, yes, my name's Daryl Gebian, I'm an emergency physician, but I'm also somebody in long-term recovery. Now that's important because it tells people it's okay to share and talk and bring up the dialogue. And this is what helps this anxiety. And I know it's a complicated thing, it's not related to this issue today, but it's important that we do, do start treating the, the uh, the problem rather than just the symptoms. So thank you very much, a great step in the right direction. Thank you very much. So as you see, the opioid crisis affects people from all walks of life and all professions. I want to thank all of my speakers for being here. And unfortunately, we are running out of time, so I could take maybe one question.